also in new developments today in a case we've been following all week. After trying for nearly two days, this morning crews were able to remove a construction worker from the rubble of a collapsed stairwell. The collapse happened Monday at a Clearwater parking garage. Officials said the instability of the structure and bad weather slowed recovery efforts there. Now there are more questions about what went wrong and what's next. 10 Tampa Bay's Malik Rankin has been out there all day long. Now Malik, concerns over the building's safety date back to the summer. That's right, and today the Clearwater Police Department provided us with some of the inspection paperwork surrounding this parking garage. We've now learned the city of Clearwater never received the engineer's report or a permit application for repair work to be done. Police Chief Dan Slaughter said the entire parking garage is now considered unsafe for entry. We've also learned that the construction worker killed in the collapse. His name is Mitchell Clock. He was just 23 years old and lived in Brandon. He got married earlier this year. He opened his own welding company in 2019. A July report for the parking garage described the building as unsafe. The police chief says that isn't necessarily enough to warrant closing it. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to shut down the entire structure. And so that's some of the things we need to get into the weeds and determine what level of, uh, of, of, of uh, safety was kind of implied by the report. Water police chief made a point to say earlier today that this is a death investigation, not a criminal investigation. The evidence and inspection reports will determine if that will change. Now, earlier today, I spoke with a maintenance engineer who says he made complaints and raised concerns over the structural integrity of this building 13 years ago. We'll hear from him tonight at six.